Hi everyone, I am Custom34 or just Guillaume and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Vault by Ashicorp in Unread. So you have to go in Apps. The Vault application has been uh, published today so this is why I can see it in this section right here. If you cannot see it in this section right here, you can just go with Vault or Ashicorp and then you are going to find uh, the application that I have published. Um, you need to go with install. Then in the template here, um, the important part are the network type. Um, in this one, you can go with bridge. Uh, I personally go with my private network, TuxNet. Uh, you maybe have one, so go with it or just go with bridge. Then you have file. File is the volume where the backend is storing the secrets and etc. Then you have the logs volume. Uh, the log volume is only necessary if you want to activate the vault audit function. Um, you can remove it or you can have it. It's up to you. Then you have the port, uh, which is 8200. Uh, this is the port for the UI and the API. Then we have the vault local config. This variable is uh, the place where you can choose the configuration from vault. Um, I am using the file backend due to the nature of Unread to be a single server. I was thinking that using Raft, uh, which is like a clustering solution for storage or console will be not necessary. But for the purpose of learning, you can definitely go with it. Um, you have you can change everything in inside this um, this configuration so go ahead with it so i will let everything by default uh, except the network type uh, where you can choose yours after that just go with apply then done And that's it, Vault is installed. Then you can go in your Docker section and you can see Vault is now started and running. In order to get you set up, um, what you need to do is to run Vault as a client uh, from your computer or the place that you want to run Vault. So let's go with my setup. Um, I have WSL install. Uh, this is uh, the Windows subsystem for Linux. Depending on your setup, maybe you use something like macOS Linux directly or Windows like me. Um, you just have to check on the Vault website about how to install Vault. So let's go. Just go on Google. Download Vault. Go with the first link and then just go with your operating system. Uh, in my case, because I'm using WSL, uh, which is Ubuntu, I will go with Linux. Then for me, Ubuntu is right. I will copy paste all of these commands there. and then install Vault. All right, I should be able to type Vault and get a result. All good. Once Vault client is installed, you want to tell your Vault client where is the Vault server. In that case, I'm going to type export Vault underscore ADDR equal then HTTP, then the IP of your Android server. Uh, this is different for everyone. Then with the port. Because the Vault server was just created, we need to create key shares 
and set a threshold about how many keys you need to unseal vault. Vault operator init key shares equal six. So this is going to create six keys. Then key threshold equal three. And basically what it means, uh, it means that this is going to create six keys and it will need three key to be unsealed. Push enter. Do not share these keys and keep them safe somewhere uh, because that will be your way to unseal vault and access vault with your root token. We are now going to unseal vault with vault operator and seal. You can type directly the key here in this section, but this is not recommended because then your history is going to keep the key there. Instead, just type the command, then paste it and push OK. Then go with the second one or the one that you want, it doesn't matter the order. You just need three key. And then the third. You can see now the difference. Sealed is now equal to false. It means that your vault is now unsealed. You can check that with vault status, for example. And you can see that sealed is false. I will now log in to Vault using my root token. Vault login. You can again paste the token directly in your CLI, but this is not recommended. In fact, just push enter and then you can just paste it and push enter again. Congrats, we are now authenticated. Let's go with some example usage about how to use Vault. I am going to use the key v engine, which is key value. So to enable that one, I'm going to write Vault secrets enable version equal one or two. It's, a, it's up to you which version you want to use. I'm going to go with version one path equal secret kv now that our key value engine is activated i will go with creating our first secret vault kv pot secret slash my vault Password, password equal one, two, three, four, five, six. So I am creating a key and then a value. The key will be password and then the value will be one, two, three, four, six. Now that our password is created, I will try to retrieve it and list it. Vault KV list secret. You can see that there is another folder in there so let's go with my vault and then i can see that there is the the password all right so what i'm going to do now is to retrieve the key and then the value so the password itself in that case i'm going to run vault kv get secret my vault password. We can see the key and then the value. All right. So uh, you can get this in different type of format like JSON, for example. So I just have to add the flag format equal JSON. And then I can see inside data 
password and one, two, three, four, six. You can also just retrieve the field password. In that case, one, two, three, four, five, six. So just have to go with something like this. And then you can get your value. We can also create more complex structure like multi passwords, for example, or multiple secrets. Vault Kiwi pot secret, let's say Nixcloud DB DB name. Nextcloud. Right, let's go with our second one. Username Nextcloud underscore user and then our password. It's a secret. All right, uh, let's try to get all the information there. So Oops, not just password, the field, but actually I want it all. So in that case, let's go with format equal JSON. And here I can see under data, DB name, password, username. So the keys and then the values. Uh, you can go also with a specific field. So just like I did um, before, Username, for example, then you're going to get Nextcloud user. Or if you go with DB name, Nextcloud. If you don't want a secret anymore, you can also um, delete that secret. So you can go with Vault KV, delete, secret nextcloud slash db so the one that we just created and then this one is just deleted so i cannot get any more the secrets before i told you about the log volume that i created in in our template um, so this is if we want to enable audit functionality so if we want to we can go with vault audit enable file then we, t we can choose our file path let's push enter and now whatever we do are recorded inside this file so if i try to get a password or create a new password, etc. I'm going to find everything we do inside this log. Let's get, for example, our last password we created. And now let's try to see what is in our vault audit log. And that's it, everything is recorded. And that's it for the API and CLI part. So let's go on Unread to check our running container. Right here we have the Vault container running. So if I click on it, then Web UI, then we are capable of seeing the UI. 
we can log in with the root token that we had before. Here is it. I'm going to copy and then paste this part here and sign in. On the right part, you have the Vault Web UI guide. Uh, you can follow this one if you want to learn more about Vault. It's pretty interesting. For now, I can check the engine secret and I can see in the path that we have set up before that I have my password with one, two, three, four, five, six. You can also create your password in the UI. Create secret. So my key will be my new password. And then the value will be 789. Add and then save. Oh, I need to add like a, another path. So new password. Save. And then that's it. I have my new password and I can see the new value here. Also in my vault, I have the password and the new password. I can then retrieve both value in the CLI. That's it for the guide. So thank you for today. As you have seen, Vault is a pretty fun tool. Uh, there is ton of different usage. Uh, you can use it in your bash script, in your code, in, in CI CD pipeline. You can use it uh, with some engine like SSH to create some uh, OTP password. Um, we have seen the static secrets, but the, there is also dynamic secrets, cloud provider authentication, etc., etc. So there is a lot of fun and there are a lot of learning to go with. Uh, I will try to create a new video in the next weeks. Uh, so thank you for everything. Thank you for watching and see you next time.